Today's agenda. We will understand what is push notifications, why choose Firebase cloud messaging, and exploring each endpoints. Push notifications are messages sent by a server to a user's device, even when the user is not actively using the application. Its main purpose is keep users informed, engaged, and re-engage them with your app. Firebase Cloud Messaging is a cross-platform messaging solution that allows you to reliably deliver messages at no cost. It's reliable, cross-platform, and scalable. Firebase Cloud Messaging provides various endpoints to facilitate push notification functionality. We enhance the endpoints for our use case. Send to device sends a notification to a specific device. Send to topic sends a notification to a specific topic. Send to all devices sends a notification to all registered devices. Subscribe to topic subscribes a device to receive notifications for a specific topic. Unsubscribe from topic unsubscribes a device from a specific topic. If you want to learn more how I implement our server and web client, feel free to check out the GitHub links and share your feedbacks. All right. Now we will see how client and server works together. First, we will explore send to device endpoint. So we need device token, for get token we need to register a client with the same Firebase console. In the left, this is my web client. You can also register Android and Apple devices as client. For time being, here I will explain only web client. Now copy the token and paste into Postman payload. As you can see, we received real-time notifications. Wow! Awesome, right? Now we'll explore topic-based notifications. Meaning, if a device subscribe with a specific topic then it will receive notifications. So, our topic name is World Cup, and device token is same as before. Device subscribed successfully. Now we send topic-based notification. As you can see, our device received message as expected. Well, now we will unsubscribe our device. After unsubscribe, again send topic-based notification, but this time you observed, no message received. So, it worked as expected. Now we will see multicast notification. To do this, we have to provide device tokens as a list in the payload. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.